everyone, it's Ranger Chris here, and now we're going to look at one of the most famous dinosaurs of them all, the Triceratops. And let's have a little look at what we've got in our collection to do with Triceratops. What's the most famous part of the Triceratops? Of course, it's its horns. Everyone knows the Triceratops as having three horns. So here we've got a replica skull. It's tiny, of course, but it's great to show you um, some of their features. It's got these three horns and the Triceratops actually means the three horned face. That's exactly what it translates into. Um, but you see, it's got a beak like mouth and this here was called the frill. Now we've got some of these items in our collection, including um, what's behind this beak. Do you reckon the, the Triceratops had any teeth? What do you guys think? Well, in fact, if you look behind, you can see layers and layers of teeth. Can you see them? Now, we have here a real Triceratops' tooth. I'm gonna hold it up. It is tiny, and I'll hold it really close. Look at that. Now, Triceratops had 600 teeth, hundreds of small teeth just behind that beak for chewing lots and lots of its favorite food, which was plants. Because of course, this was a herbivorous dinosaur, which means it eats plants only. So let's take a look back at this. Here is its frill. And right here, I have a real piece of Triceratops's frill. I know, it's amazing. I'm holding it in my hands right now. This was once on one of those mighty dinosaurs that battled against T-Rex. It's pretty cool. The frill was used to protect its neck. Um, so it would hold its head up high and this huge um, piece of a sort of armor would protect its neck. It was made out of pure bone. It's a crazy piece of, of evolution there. Now the Triceratops did have those amazing horns and here is a replica of one of those horns. Now this is just the tip of the horn. So they were a lot bigger than this. But this goes to show um, how they would have looked. Now, this would have been covered in keratin. And keratin is your fingernails. Um, that's what we made out, made out of. Um, and this would have been a sheath of keratin all over the top to make it super, super sharp. 